What's up gamers, Tadger Dan here with the Uber Noobs and today we've got another great 7 days to die crafting video for you. This is the last one of our series. We're going to cover the chemistry station and the cement mixer. Okay, so we've got a chemistry station here and these are items that you're going to have to craft. Right, so chemistry station, and it has to be made at a workbench. And you need two beakers, which you can find on nurses. You can get out of airdrops. You can find at pharmacies. Pharmacies have been the best place for me to get them, as well as hospitals. If you're near a big city, you can get a lot of them, a lot of medical supplies at hospitals. Um, pharmacies are really great if you're not in a big city. Now, the, the reason I say that is because beakers are the one item that you need that you can't craft. You have to find it. Uh, burning barrels, the cooking pots, you can make those with the forge, same with the short iron pipe and the wood. So that's it here for the crafting station, and, or for making the chemistry station. We're just gonna hit E, and just like any other chemist, uh, just like any other workbench, it requires a couple of things. You need fuel, and you need materials. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop some wood into this um, because I need a lot of gas for my auger. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna see if I can max this out. Yep. So there you go, this is gonna run. Uh, it's gonna take 40 minutes and I've got 198 minutes of fuel, so that's more than enough. So you can see here the crafting time in real world. 39 minutes and your fuel burn time in real world time not game time is 198 minutes so that's more than enough uh, if this is short and say for instance you don't have enough you know you can drop another fuel source here if it, you know, or you can drop more wood onto this one but if you're out of wood you can drop coal um, they can use gas also yeah you can queue up gas to burn um, I think oil maybe, burning barrels or barrel fuel. Um, Biofuel is another source. And so that's what you can make here at the crafting station for the chemistry. Um, this is the place we make antibiotics. Now let's take a look at this here. The antibiotics at the crafting station requires one moldy bread, one nitrate paddle, powder, and one bottle of murky water. But if you go here to this one, Right, so this is the fire pit. You can make antibiotics also, but you need four moldy bread, three nitrate powder, and one bottle of water, not a bottle of murky water. So you can see it's a lot easier to craft antibiotics on a chemistry station. And the other thing is the herbal antibiotics. Here, right, two blueberries, one mushroom, one chisser, whatever that is, nitrate powder, and a bottle of murky water. Take a look at the fire. Herbal antibiotics. You need five blueberries, three mushrooms, three chislets, three nitrate powder, and a bottled water, not a bottle of murky water. So again, the nitrate, uh, the uh, chemistry station produces the same items, but it produces better quality. Also, gunpowder. I believe you can only make at the chemistry station. Right, lump of coal and nitrate powder. That's good for your bullets, uh, as well as your landmines, and of course, my favorite, TNT. So let's see here. Can we make it here? Um, is that a forge? Okay, no, you can craft gunpowder in your inventory regularly, but it takes uh, two lumps of coal and two nitrate powders versus one and one. There we go. So at the chemistry station, one lump of coal, one nitrate powder versus in your inventory, two and two. So you can get much better results. And I'm liking how much fuel I'm going to have here. I'm going to have enough fuel for my auger to get all the way to the middle of the map. So while that's doing that, 
Let's go ahead. We're going to run outside here to where my cement mixer is at. We're going to take a look at a couple of the key items that you can make here in the cement mixer. And of course, the most important item is the concrete mix. So the difference with the cement mixer is that you don't need fuel. It's the one crafting station um, besides the workbench that doesn't require fuel. But this is a tough one to build because you have to have a small engine. And I'll show you that here in a sec. So I'm going to go ahead and queue that up. It's going to go ahead and craft for me. So the cement mixer, again, like some of the other workstation, or some of the like, like the chemistry station, has to be made at a workbench, and it requires parts that are tough to come by. The small engine and the mechanical parts are really tough to, to find. The small engines, right now, as far as I know, you can only find them. You can't make them. See, it, it doesn't give the option for that recipe. So, and when you do come across a small engine, you gotta decide, okay, do I wanna use this for my mini bike or do I wanna make a cement mixer? I mean, personally, I chose a cement mixer because then you can make these wonderful concrete blocks. that are really, really durable. Um, in fact, these ones have been upgraded once, so their durability now is 6,000. So if a player does happen to get into my fortress area here once this is all built out um, they'll have a really tough time getting into uh, my loot upstairs all right gamers that does it for this crafting video i hope you enjoyed it learned a few things about seven days to die again this is a fun game it gets much much more challenging as you increase in level um, and of course the best way to play is with friends because then you can share the workload uh, in foraging and crafting, building, hunting, uh, and of course, defense. So stay tuned to this channel. We do have our playthrough getting ready to come out. We're going to upload the first video on Monday of this week, I believe. Dan, uh, and of course, we're going to be doing a raffle with the playthrough video series. We've created the video feed for it, so you sub can subscribe to that as well. So that you know as soon as we upload the first video, check us out on Facebook. And also make sure you check out our website, theubernoobs.com.